Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Do I have to pay tax on gifts of money? Then gifts of money can be subject to tax, but the rules vary. In the United States, the person giving the gift, not the recipient, is generally responsible for paying the gift tax. However, there are exclusions and exemptions. The IRS allows an annual exclusion amount, which is the maximum amount that can be given to one person in a year without incurring gift tax. This amount can change, so it is important to check the current limit. And then if the gift exceeds this annual exclusion amount, the giver may need to file a gift tax return. Nonetheless, this does not necessarily mean they will owe taxes. There is also a lifetime exemption amount that applies to the total value of all taxable gifts made during the giver's lifetime. As long as the combined total of gifts does not exceed this lifetime exemption, no gift tax will be due. NNIT is essential to keep accurate records of all gifts given, especially if they approach or exceed the annual exclusion amount. Gifts made for tuition or medical expenses can be excluded from the gift tax if paid directly to the institution or provider. These exclusions can help manage potential tax liabilities. For those considering making large gifts, consulting with a tax professional is advisable. They can provide guidance specific to individual circumstances and help ensure compliance with tax laws. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below and feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.